Hey guys, Von Fry here, if you know me through gaming, Legendary Badass. Okay, so I picked up Batman Arkham Knight late last night. I popped it in, did the install, did the day one patch that was like 3 gigs, even though the game was delayed about a year. And I started playing on hard. I got a quarter of a way through the campaign which I didn't think took all that long, uh, maybe about five hours with a great deal of going about it as a game tester, looking at tiny objects everywhere I could find them, snooping around, really trying to get a good look at the graphics and how the world worked. Um, but I gotta say that on hard it really was not that tough. You can see here that there's a huge signal showing when these guys are about to attack, and I think that's par for the course in the series on normal. I thought maybe hard they took that away. Now, granted, I only played Arkham City on... I started it on hard, and then I played it again on extreme, and there definitely wasn't those tells. But... Yeah, I just felt that, like, uh, you know, I'm running through these guys. Maybe it's because I'm such a badass at Arkham City which this game takes place uh, seemingly immediately after the events of uh, the first game are mentioned. I guess you have sc the main story thus far is Scarecrow's releasing fear toxin. It's going to be, there's going to be enough fear toxin for the whole East Coast. It starts with Gotham. Uh, everybody had to evacuate, so you have mostly criminals left, and they're running amok. The streets, very cool. Uh, everything with the Batmobile is so much better than I expected. It's used to combat, it's used to travel, it's used to solve puzzles in brilliant, new, exciting ways. Some of them really stiffed me. That's been the toughest part thus far, is trying to figure out how to use the Batmobile for puzzles. You'll need to go up the side of a building to move an antenna. Well, okay, to get up there you ramp, and then you have to do a little bit of turning around to find out that you build more ramps with your your electric winch. So you can ramp further up. And I was probably stuck on that for a good 20 minutes trying to figure out what to do. Batman would give you a little bit of clues. Now, you couldn't really, like, call Oracle and ask for help. I think that was a feature in, the, in Arkham City that you could like call people and ask them what you're supposed to do next or Batman being a detective he'd kinda tell you stuff well you should use the power winch and I'm like okay I'm trying to do that and I was locking onto the to the end point and I, it wasn't reaching I was like bullshit the combat with the Batmobile this is in chase mode right here still very cool uh, very tough to try to figure out how to drive this thing because the brake is X instead of the logical left trigger which puts in combat where it it's like a, a gyrosphere free roaming ball of doom uh, the graphics in half the ways you could look at it it looks a lot better than the old game in half the ways it looks about the same one of my biggest complaints was Batman looked a little weird uh, he doesn't look quite as chiseled like quite as ridiculously buff in this one as he did in Arkham City but he's got a long face. It kind of bothers me. Plus, uh, not too far into the game, you get a new costume, which gives him Iron Man's appearance, and I think that kind of rubs me the wrong way. Uh, so far, I, I think there are some Riddler trophies to collect. I haven't seen a whole lot of those. It looks like there's a good deal to do on the side, but the way the story's unfolding pales in comparison to Arkham City. Uh, switching between Batman and Catwoman. I haven't done anything like that yet. A quarter of the way through the game, I'm, I'm always Batman. It's good to be Batman. Maybe the points where you have to use the car so much, that's sort of like your change-up in gameplay. So, really, it's not a huge complaint there. And if you're Catwoman, you're, I mean the car, right? There's a lot of great exploration. You get to look around Oracle's watchtower. Uh, all these little doodads in the corners of people's little offices I'm checking out. Just so, so cool. Uh, those are my first impressions. I'm sure yours may be a little bit different. I, I don't think the story is quite so rich thus far, but hey, hey, I'm sticking around. So, hey, like this channel, follow me on whatever.